Let's now tell you what's brewing in the world of politics in India. A major row has erupted over remarks made by Congress leader Rahul Gandhi. What remarks? What is the row all about? And where are things headed? Let's break it all down for you. First things first. Rahul Gandhi earlier made remarks targeting the Bharatiya Janata Party and the Ram Temple consecration ceremony. Remember, the ceremony took place on the 22nd of January in Ayodhya in the state of Uttar Pradesh. So why was Rahul Gandhi talking about it now? Rahul Gandhi attacked the BJP over those who attended the ceremony in Ayodhya, talking about how the ceremony was attended by several celebrities and well-known personalities. He claimed it was not attended by anyone from the Dalit or tribal communities. He said he did not see a single poor person as well and also claimed he did not see any farmers and labourers. Listen in to what he said. In fact, uh, reports have also been talking about how Rahul Gandhi made remarks about Amitabh Bachchan, the Indian mega superstar, and his daughter-in-law, Ashwarya Rai Bachchan. The ceremony, remember, was attended by Amitabh Bachchan and his son, Abhishek Bachchan. Ashwarya Rai Bachchan was not present at the ceremony. So why did Rahul Gandhi mention her? Why bring up her name? In fact, according to reports, addressing different rallies during his Bharat Joro Nyaya Yatra, the Congress leader took Ashwarya Rai Bachchan's name at least four times in the last few days. Also, going to the extent of claiming that television channels only show Ashwarya Rai Bachchan dancing while not showing anything about the poor people. The BJP has lashed out at Rahul Gandhi for his attack on Ashwarya Rai Bachchan, saying that the leader has a dangerous and creepy obsession with successful and self-made women and that he has sunk to a new low of demeaning India's pride, Ashwarya Rai. Also saying that Ashwarya Rai has brought more glory to India than Rahul Gandhi's entire family. The BJP has also criticized the Karnataka chief minister for not saying anything and remaining silent. Meanwhile, Amitabh Bachchan put out a post on the platform X, formerly known as Twitter. The post was cryptic, triggering speculation that the actor was actually hinting at how he was viewing the developments. He said, and I'm quoting, time for workout, mobility of the body, flexibility of the mind, all else can wait. At the same time, reactions have been pouring in. The latest to join the list of those criticizing Rahul Gandhi for his remarks is singer Sona Mohapatra, who put out the post saying, and I'm quoting, what's with politicians demeaning women in their speeches to get some brownie points in a sexist landscape? She goes on to say, dear Rahul Gandhi, sure someone has demeaned your own mother, that's Sonia Gandhi, and sister Priyanka Gandhi, similarly in the past, and irrespective, you ought to know better. Also, Ashwarya Rai dances beautifully. Where really are things headed? Which way is this controversy going to go? We will have to wait and watch. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.